Kaze, right? Mage. Or Mage is Symphonia. Mage. That's no surprise. Both of them are extremely good players. Really, really, really high placings. Whatever the tournament they go to. Um, really, really good Rosa main. Really, really good Bayo main. Both really know their characters. Right, so. I haven't seen Mage fight Air Link, so... He's been happened. he's been like making work with all the PR players in the area right now. He I lived here, that, like oof. I know that Mage had lost to Lima, another Bayonetta of DFW. So maybe he just has a problem with this character, but we'll see. I know he made a post on some Facebook Smash group, like asking for Bayonetta practice, so I don't know if he actually got some since then. Well this is definitely some really good Bayo practice. Oh yeah, it gets Air Link. Let's see. So, basically the name of the game is Space Out Aerials. Back air will be able to get rid of Luma pretty easily. So spacing back air on shield would be pretty nice. Will that kill? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Rosa's since, huge. Since um, Rosalina gets put into so much hit stun, Luma can't like come back because you have to do certain aerials or certain moves for Luma to come back to you. And Luma is kind of like your get out of jail free like combo. It's hard. <laughs> Yeah. But since Bayo's combos were like keeping Rosalina uh, hit stun, Rosalina, uh, Luma wasn't able to come like save. Mm -hmm. Calling out those jabs with an F smash. Up tilt to nothing. <laughs> up tilt to nothing. That's I think, the best combo. I think I saw the balloon kind of get in there and mess things up a little bit. Alright, so. Really, really, really going off stage knowing that Rosalina has no hitbox. So her worst part is definitely off stage. See, I would say of... that it is dangerous since oh, oh, you go for a defensive option under a lot of pressure. That one was just falling to his doom. Dude, look at that little spaceship. Oh, Dude, the only, space, the only spaceship I see is Bayonetta carrying people up to the top. Damn. Comes down to Earth, just scoops up all the living. That alien witch lady. <laughs> She's, she's, literally, she's literally space abducting girl. people. She's abducting people and then killing them up in her spaceship. You would think the person from space would do that Three, to people, but no, two, nope. One, nope, just, a, just like a witch, you know, witch demon. Crazy demon. witch lady. Crazy witch lady. Alright, so oh, maybe... God. Maybe FD is a better decision here. Just having like more stage to kind of like roam around with Rosalina. Oh my gosh. That within getting that combo out. That's not even true to begin with. Really? Uh -huh. I guess just most characters don't have like a fast option to get out of it. But Bayonetta has a frame one air to punch. Alright, so... I like the down smash, however, Bayonetta... <laughs> yeah. Air like, uh, is getting a lot of like bat withins that are just like saving it from a lot of his combos. I really like the use of Nair, cause like, it covers air dodge. I think that was probably the best decision he could've done. That time down smash actually hitting Air Link. Let's see. Oh gosh. I do think that Mage's placement of Luma needs to be better. Like, he's always like sticking Luma with himself, but I feel like with this specific matchup, it's better to have Luma in front of you and do like disjointed jabs. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that if Luma's far enough away, you won't get Witch Time if somehow. Ooh gosh, that was an interesting trade. Um, Luma, if far enough away, will not cause Witch Time to activate on Rosalina. Wonder, wait, so does Luma... Oh my gosh, that gentleman. Um, does Luma stay in Witch Time while Rosalina is not? I have no idea. But oh speaking gosh. about that gentleman, that gentleman only works with Luma. Rosalina's, like, gentleman jab just by herself is really bad for killing, but... Rosalina's rapid jab is really good for killing just by yourself. Huh, interesting. Ooh, good air dodge. Using the, the wind box. The wind box from bullets pushing away Mage and Symphonia. He probably could have just S smashed that. Well, this time, I think that the stage has been dealing a lot of. Then you can see a lunar landing into an almost grab right there. Oh my gosh, if he up smashed, that would have been sick. Or something. Let's see. So, Rage Rosalina. I could see an up throw possibly netting some crazy early kill somewhat soon. Well, not anymore now that Luma's gone, but fourth does probably, yeah. Alright. Fixed knockback is incredible. 
<laughs> especially on Luma. That's great. But right now, Aerolink's just kind of staying in the air and like, flo like being a little nuisance around Mage of Symphonia. Just kind of waiting for a bad option and then using Witch Twist and Fair to like get combo started. I mean, that's one thing you can do as Banna, that you can just jump around someone and then like, kind of like, force people to like, kind of like, make a really bad option in Witch Time, you know? Yeah. And even if Witch Time doesn't come out, all these Bat Withins are kind of just saving Aerolink from all these threatening death combos. Kind of calling out all these like, untrue combos that Rosalina has. Yeah, so yeah. Luma Luma will not get witch time, so that's some that's some pretty good information from Agents of Bunny that he can use Luma to put out, you know, a, like a pretty safe hitbox. Most characters really can't do that. You would think maybe maybe that is the reason why Mage is always keeping his Luma with him, is in case if he gets switch time. I would think maybe that might be his reasoning behind it. Then I'm expecting maybe a call out with a landing with an up smash. Possibly. Ooh, Ooh there. Now, what I want to see is two jabs into an air. That'll kill it this second. Ooh, the back hit of up smash. Oh my goodness, wow. What did I tell you? That was a pretty good anti air. That was like the back. That was like a way back. No. She reached. <laughs> yeah. Her head is really big, my dude. It's, is it intangible? Yes. Like, uh. It's kind of like Mario. Uh. It's, it's, it's like basically just like Mario, just not as good. Still kills at like, what What was that, like 120? Solid. Yeah, but I think... Has more lag though, definitely. I think Aerolink's aerial approach, unfortunately, cost him the sock that time, because he was floating up right around that area. So, I think, was that an up smash out of shield? Probably. Yeah, yeah. I called it, my dude. I was like, up smash. You're gonna see it, because... It's part of conditioning, like, we hadn't seen an up smash from Mage at all that set until the very, very end. So it was kind of like conditioning to make sure that Aerolink, I guess, blah, blah, blah. I'm, lo I'm losing my words, I'm sorry. Oh, Never God. mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Aerolink's starting all these witch times, like, preemptively. I'm not really sure what he's trying to get. I think he's trying to read Mage's pony, kind of just throwing on an up air, trying to catch him with all these aerial, like, approaches and stuff like that. Like, look at that witch time right out of the witch twist, trying to see if Air Mage and Symphonia will punish it. Well, you know that, um, Rosalina's, like, danger zone is a buffer. Yeah. So that's whenever you're gonna bait. Waiting for some sort of air dodge, since Aerolink has been air dodging right out of these combos, Bat Within. Nothing witch time. He's just kind of throwing him out at this point. Look at that. It's not really- <laughs> at this point, it's not gonna get him anything. It's mostly just like, hey, I called out your attack. Weird. It allows him to land, and that's about it. I would say against Rosalina, that's a really good thing. I guess so, yeah. Let's see, ooh, that almost could have been nasty. It almost looked like he footstooled the Luma. Gosh. <laughs> I wonder if he can footstool Luma. Probably not, no, right? You yeah. No, no, no. Ooh. Oh, he barely, barely making that back. Pulling out all the resources. Really, really widely, wisely used as well. Alright, so Afterburner didn't connect to the second one. Not quite enough percent. Ugh. Getting a little bit out of here, but that was almost a really bad trade. Yeah. Oh, I feel gosh. like Mage could have charged that a little bit sooner as well. Possibly. Oof, bad down air. Uh. Just landing really unsafe. Kind of unfortunate. Three really bad landing options. Yeah, Gosh. I'm... Oh, let's see, which time? That's probably it. That's death. You're really light. Woo! Well, I mean, I bad like landings. This, <laughs> I like the second up smash, you know, like, just, like, just in case you survive. Like, just to spite Luma one more time. Gosh, which, which, uh, bat within just, like, out of everything. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do in this matchup. But, um... You can also nair instead of up air a second time to cover all options as well. Yeah. Most of the time I just see Aerolink like aggressively trying to land, like like nair into shield and stuff like that. But really he could honestly just like like diagonal kick away. Oh my gosh, is that it? That's it. Ooh, it's Ooh. not. We're living. Saying, not a 47. If, also, if you notice, you don't really see any nairs coming out from Rosalina as well, because it's like, it'll last forever and you can time it. Wow, nice. nice job. Alright, 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 alright. 
the, the one time that I say something is commentator's curse. Yeah, that's great. Ooh, all these snares. He must have heard you. It's... It's really dangerous. I don't know why he's doing it. To be honest. Oh, oh I saw something. What? Ooh. Little coming back, fortunately. I think Mage was probably trying to go for an up air there, but uh, dive kick was just way too, way too fast. Jab is stale performance, so it's not gonna kill quite yet. You could probably say like a jab, jab there, possibly. Needs to prioritize killing Luma at the moment while still Ooh. being safe, but. Rosalina is there, as long as Luma is there, is extremely powerful. And will send, I think, like, upwards in most scenarios. Stinky. Upwards or, like, to the side. Alright, so Mitch's Aphonia is up. I think he just flat called out Aerolink's approach to him. And it's like, up there? What is a witch time? What, what's a witch time gonna do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, fall all the way back down and get it up there like yeah sure that might work but he was witch timing quite a lot so I don't think it would have lasted that long. I don't think Major Symphonia really dared to land that much. He no. just kinda like Airlink knows that you want to cover all your landings with options. So Mage just didn't give him that opportunity. You always went to ledge. Always like mixed up his landing. Never really landed with a lot of like offensive options because that's kind of like dumb to do in Super Bayonetta. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. Battlefield for game four. I like the crouch just to get under the bullets. It's pretty pretty good. But um. Hey. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey. Of course, we got a mean. Let's go. Alright. So, Aerolink really using really good movement. So many, so many hitboxes. Oh my Did goodness, please. Oh, no, not Ooh, quite. try to use the down air to get Luma out of here and also, like, start his lagless or, like, super laggy land, like, sooner. Bam. Yeah, but it's just like Aerolink's just throwing out hitboxes and witch times all the time. It's really hard for a mage to safely zone against it as well, which is why I think the Veo matchup might be kind of hard. Like, a lot of your gameplay has to go with grabs. Yep. Because that's where you get most of your true options, and that's usually what you want to do versus Bale. It's the safest thing to do. Ooh, Luma triggering which time. That's good for Mage that Luma keeps triggering these. It's getting rid of the time and not giving him any sort of, like, not killing him. Damn, it's just like all these hitboxes just making Mage like, he's like, oh my gosh, I need to hit, I need to hit, I need to find a way to get this, this crazy lady off of me. <laughs> Ooh, that was almost pretty good. Oh. Then, you can see the adaptation from Aerolink now spot dodging to counteract Mage's sort of strategy of grabbing, but it's not gonna work if you just read the roll. Bayonetta able to pretty safely get away from all these, like, up air shenanigans and weird, like, 50 50 scenarios, but up air, gonna take it, reading some sort of jump. Pretty sure that Mage wasn't expecting that at all. I didn't see any, like, anything to kind of, like, counteract that. I think Mage just tried to approach, and unfortunately, Aerolink's throwing out all these crazy good hitboxes. I like how Mage is constantly waiting to make sure that all of his moves are safe, though, you know? Because. Oh you can never underestimate a Bayo Witch time. Even if it's, you know, a little bit stale. It could start a combo that could... Kill you. Well, certainly kill you. Really Ooh. nice defensive pivot grab. I think that he got Aerolink out of his dash attack there. Or out of his grab. I think it was probably a dash grab. He probably read yeah. that he was going to try to run and try to get some sort of, like, down throw or up throw or something like that. Possibly F throw to get rid of Luma. But I don't like these these witch times that are like on the ground per se because as I stated earlier, Ooh. Mage is doing a lot of grabs. I mean not really at this percent, but it's like I think that Okay. This might be stinky. He was baiting his landing lag from um landing. <laughs> his landing <Nice>. lag from <laughs> Shut up! 
I was just like, well, it's not landing lag, it's just he was baiting his landing and I messed up and said landing lag. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. Bayonetta. Bayonetta things, you know? Just land Bayonetta, dude. Dude, just death combo Luma. Never oh, mind, just slows Luna. Alright, so... I think that while Luma is still alive, um... It's gonna be dangerous for Bayonetta to do these combos really up high. Cause... Yeah, because Luma's set knockback can just boop, right into the blast zone. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is battlefield, but it's still always an option. And also, there it's could be a so... chance that, uh, like, you know, Aerolink likes to just pick up Major Symphonia and just lift into the top ball, like having Luma staying down at the bottom. If there's any time that Luma comes back up to Rosalina during that combo, that smells like doom for Aerolink. As we can see, a lot of shields coming out from Rosalina at the moment. I like the down B to stall. However, you can only do it once. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. It only stalls the first one. The buzz will teach you some weird stuff about Rosalina, my dude. Oh, that would have been Landing stinky. there. It's Rosalina's quickest option right in front of herself, but... Spacing the bear is gonna get right by that dare, so... All these aggressive uh, options on the stage coming out by Mitch Symphonia got called out by the back air, retreating back air. Yep. And even if that back air missed, it would have been safe, so... That was the same scenario as last time, but Aerolink adapted saying, I know that you're probably gonna go for this dare, so I'm just gonna outspace it. Solid. Alright, let's see. So now it's an even set with 2-2 two to two for Ooh, both players. Game 5. Game 5. On Dreamland. Stinky. Oh. Rosa gets a grab on the top platform, you're dead at zero. It's really interesting. Oh no. Oh, no. oh. she was dead! Oh, but, but Aerolink had to up back or else he would have died as well. Oh, that's sad. Oh no. Oh no. This is an up tilt. But it doesn't even... It, okay, it didn't matter. It definitely did matter. Yeah, that could have possibly been the stock. That's how scary Dreamland is. I think Major Symphonia didn't even know he grabbed him at that point. I think he possibly was just waiting for Luma to come back. Maybe. Now it's just gonna be Edgeguard City from early. Oh. Ooh, gosh, he is taking a huge lead now. <laughs> Jab one into grab. I heard the spark come out for that up air, barely missed Aerolink. That's a pretty good option to get around Rosalina's jabs. You just kind of side be under it. I didn't even know you could go under it, to be honest. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. Now Rosalina or Major Symphonia has to worry about, you know, if he's spacing jabs, Aerolink could just side be right under it and start up basically like a death combo at most percents. He gets hit another time, that could have been death. But good air dodge. Warning the situation. However, Mage can't land. It's one of Rosalina's biggest problems because she's really floaty. And no Luma to put out a hitbox. Exactly. And even if there's a hitbox to be put out, which time? Which time? Speak of the devil. Oh, speak of the witch, my dude. Oh yeah. Speak of the witch. Speak of what? Speak of the what? <laughs> Oh, that was good stuff about Aerolink, man. That game just... He almost killed him at zero. If he would've just like... Imagine if he did not be and just let them both die. <laughs> oh. Alright, so Aerolink definitely taking that game. It was really close. Ooh. Really close. The set was very close. I think that possibly was just like... That one witch time that almost killed him at like, what? Ten? Yeah. And then... A lot of stuff happened that round. Like, saving him after you would have missed the ledge and like I wonder I if he could have waited a little bit longer before upping back to the stage. He could have. Probably. Uh you can you can actually up B directly like upwards with Rosalina. You just like up B and then you you like do like kinda like a half circle backwards and it'll go straight up. So you can even grab the ledge backwards. Oh wow. And, yeah. It's not like Samus or <laughs> it's not like Samus. <sighs> Samus can't grab the ledge backwards. But sad. I wish I could play Samus more, but ooh, gosh. Dude, just watch people that play are really like well. Yeah, like, dude, I've been. Sam, or like uh, the other one, Icy Man. 